Hey guys, Professor Bill of Comic Book University and Tales of Suspense issue number 104, The Red Room, part five of five. Okay, so I am loving this. I love this, I love this, I love this. Matthew Rosenberg did a bang up, kick in the nuts pants kind of a job, all right? And that, that actually happens with some of the young Red Room girls. So check this out, man. Everything you could possibly imagine happens in this comic book. Seriously, imagine it up. It happened. <laughs> So, um, what do you call it? Natasha had a plan all along. She needed the other two out of her way. I get it. I don't usually like the idea of punking at Bucky and giving the idea that maybe somehow Natasha is better than the Winter Soldier in certain regards. But I, at, at the same time, yeah, I can see that she is sometimes better in certain regards. But kind of punking him out like that was a little bit weird. I have a feeling that this might be rectified, though. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Um, more on that later. For right now... Um, the freaking Ursa Major was great in this. I loved that. Even skids at the end. You know, uh, uh, we have reports of a bear running down the highway, yelling at motorists and cursing at them. I have a feeling that, that you know, that's for you two morons also. That happened because of you two, meaning Hawkeye and, and Bucky. Just, you name it, man. This was great. Natasha literally had every single loose sand round up, and she was ready to execute her plan the moment that these two knuckleheads escaped. Perfect, because she got a few more things done with them gone. Maybe, maybe, but this was great. <laughs> so, um, in the end, basically, we see that Clint is just, yeah, sure, fine, whatever, bye. <laughs> Go away, Clint. Don't need you anymore. But this series may continue, and we might have Natasha and Winter Soldier working together. Awesome. Very awesome. This, this is exactly what I was hoping for from beginning to end. I really hope that the series continues. I hope that we do have a good six, you know, five, six issues, whatever, with Black Widow and Bucky. And then I'm kind of hoping that, yes, this is just a home for Bucky. Tales of Suspense is now Bucky's home. And we can see him teaming up with a bunch of different people here and there. Oh, God, if you do that, I will be so happy. And, yeah, keep Rosenberg on this. <laughs> <laughs> this was fantastic, guys. I'm going to give this an A-. Look, there are many ways that the comic could have been better, there, you know, I'm sure, but no, for, for this ending, that was really cool, all right? They did kind of play up Bucky, especially a lot in this issue, you know, so they really did play him a lot, but I guess it was just a way of building up Natasha, which I'm... I'm mostly okay with i'm mostly okay with you know saying hawkeye yeah bye go back to a circus dude. go back to doing what you do he's good he's good at what he does but when he's being silly i just i got no time for that man go go join a leslie nielsen film anyway uh that's it for me great comic book great way to end this particular arc and looking forward to seeing this continue in the series all right professor bell comic book university class dismissed